Hey guys, welcome back to the Tiki Kev shop. I don't think I've posted a video in about a week or so. So uh, let me show you guys what's going on because there's a lot more in here that, than there was in the last video. In the last video, you guys saw, uh, it was probably the Texas bar that was sitting on the floor here, but uh, we moved that to the box truck. That's getting shipped out. Uh, I believe it's going out Monday and heading down to uh, Texas. So uh, you guys remember this big bar here, this was on the table. Uh, it was I'm pretty sure I had it almost done or close to being done, but now you could get a great idea on how big this one is. Let's go around the back. I'll show you guys. This is a 10 by 10 and uh, that roof out there. It's a 14 by 14 roof. That's actually, whoops, that's actually uh, the roof for this bar. But uh, this one here is a beer meister going in. I got the sun shining in here, so I don't know if you guys can see this. But uh, there's a beer meister. I got to put the tower in going in there. Refrigerator there. And uh, we have a sink and an ice bin in here. And uh, believe it, this bar is way too big to transport. So believe it or not, this actually comes apart uh, right down the middle. You can see we got the lower bar top separated right there. And uh, this rope will unscrew right here. And this seam comes apart there. And then the cabinets unscrew, the floor comes out. So I'll put the doors in. Uh, these last two doors will go in once we get it out on the job site and uh, put it all back together. But the other doors are on. So this one, this one also gets a bunch of electric in the ceiling and uh, ceiling fan. And this is the newest one. This is the one for Hawaii, for uh, Bellows Air Force Base in Hawaii. So uh, nothing special about this one. They just wanted it wide enough for a uh, uh, six-foot table to, to be able to be opened up in the back. But that one's actually going to be moving from spot to spot on the military base. So what we did is they wanted a skid for it so they could move it. So we actually made a floor. We made the skid which will get covered by the footrest. You won't see that until you pull the footrest off. They can just put their forks in there and lift this whole thing up. And the top of the skid is actually the floor of the bar. So, I don't know if you can see up there, but that's, that's the bar top there. So this, this one gets a 10 by 10 roof as well. This one's, this is pretty big, but the roof's gonna be lightweight so they can take it off and just move everything wherever they wanna put it. So uh, that's what we got going on in the shop. Um, I haven't really taken any orders since about May. So uh, we're ta I'm taking orders again uh, for next season. Uh, if anybody needs a Tiki Bar, let me know. And for all you DIYers, TikiKevDIYBooks.com. And I got books on how to make this stuff. So uh, let me, let's go around here. Here's this is the front of the bar. So this is a big one too. This is an 8x8. And again, the footrest slides over all of this. That's the bracket for it. And uh, that'll all be hidden. And then we have a cord I made so they can plug in for the outlets in the bar. And that'll be hidden under the footrest as well. All right. So uh, this one's going to be this one's going to be a good two to three day install. Because that roof, if you can see, that roof is huge. But uh, all right, well. That's all what we got going on here in the shop. I think Eric's working on the roof. I don't know where he got to. There he is. He's always hiding. All right. Well, as always, I uh, love your comments, your feedback. Love your feedback. Anything you guys want to see us do, anything you want to see us make, let us know. And uh, look forward to your comments. All right. From the Tiki Kev shop. Tiki Kev out.